Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick watermelon update on a couple of the varieties. Uh, Wondermelon. I'm basically starting to see a ton of female blooms all over. So I'm not going to hand pollinate this variety just yet because the first flowers I've been noticing have been having issues. Uh, so this one is showing blossom and rot. So I'm going to uh, pull this one actually. Well, I'll let it go. I'll let it go just to see what happens with that one. Um, it's wasting energy, of course, but not too much energy. That's probably a little one pound little fruit. So this variety can grow to uh, 40 pounds. So it's definitely not wasting much energy at all. But all over, there's just female blooms. So that's one, two. And male blooms are uh, blooming also. I've seen some opening yesterday. I'm just waiting for those first fruit sets. Here's the third one hanging out in the air. Three. And this is from the uh, new planting. So this one is flowering real early uh, because I put that fertilizer down at the time of planting. So that's uh, Wonder Melon. Madura, I haven't seen any female blooms yet. Here's another female bloom. It's gonna probably open tomorrow on Wonder Melon. see it there. Um, Model Ra, I haven't noticed any female blooms yet. Plenty of male blooms though. Pretty sure there's going to be a bunch of fruit sets from all of these varieties uh, in time. Uh, for Desert King, I've noticed um, the leaf footed guys. Smushed them. Uh, so for Desert King, I noticed uh, the, the male blooms have been opening uh, every day and I've been waiting for the female blooms and then today I noticed the first female bloom that hasn't opened yet. Let me uh, find a way to step into that garden bed so we can get a close look at that unopened female bloom. So as I said, I'm not going to pollinate these first fruits. I'm going to let them uh, be self-pollinated if there's bees around. So this is Desert King's first female bloom that's being produced. And this one is coming from the Desert King that's in that one gallon container. So it's a little bit, growing a little bit faster than these grow bags. Just a little bit faster. Vining out a little bit quicker too. Uh, I don't notice any uh, female bloom. Well, right, right here, here's another one. So that's two uh, Desert King female blooms being produced. So I'm gonna start seeing fruit sets from those real soon. I really wanted to update Lila Nau uh, on this uh, rapid growth compared to the six cents container because at first this plant here was about the same size as up here. But now that we've been having rain, I've been watering every day. I've been keeping up with my watering. <laughs> Um, just so I can have some good results to show y'all this season. I've normally let them go dry, but this season I uh, decided I'm going to uh, go all the way in with it. Um, so I've noticed that the plant is very much taller and its uh, leaves are a little bit bigger than right here than a single plant. And there's about 20 plants in here. Some of them uh, didn't do so well. Others are growing, growing nicely. These right here on this side of the bag, I'm not sure what's going on over here, but they are doing very well. It, it could very well be that the uh, these grape skins that I dropped right there, so the Concord has some thick skins. I normally harvest like a bowl of Concords, and I spit the skins out, and I just mulch them around the plants. That may uh, also be influencing the growth of these Lila Nau plants, but nonetheless, they are doing much better in the grow bag than in the uh, six inch containers. And I'm also wondering if they would do better in the one gallon containers than the grow bag. So that would be an experiment for another day or another season. Um, Santo Domingo cassava is, is uh, growing very well. Some of the fertilizer spilled out in a couple containers. So I need to, um, like this one right here, you don't see any fertilizer on the surface of the soil, but not much spilled out of this one here and this is the bigger plant so that fertilizer does make a, a big difference 
Um, and I'm just using organic. I'm not using any 12 to 12 or, or whatever people use. I'm just using normal organic 253 fertilizer. And this is Santo Domingo Cassaba. Um, leaves are now looking excellent. Leaves are now should start vining out real soon. Maybe by next week we should start seeing some results. Here we have Harumadu. Been producing uh, male blooms every day. I've just been waiting for the first female blooms, and I'm I'm pretty sure those are going to start appearing within the next week. Uh, my my experience with Kajari, once those female blooms start appearing, it won't be too long before I start actually seeing fruit sets. So, as of now, I'm not seeing fruit sets, but the leaves on Harumadu are about as big as my hand, so they're catching plenty of sunlight. And, um, and they're having plenty of blooms being produced. Um, the field behind me has been getting cut frequently. So this is actually a golf course. It normally, it normally uh, is a daisy field um, when it's in flower, but people have been cutting it too frequently. And now uh, we basically don't have any, uh, we, we don't have a bee population around here. so. No mow may is a is a real thing. You should you shouldn't mow your plants uh, for a certain periods of time. You know, just to feed the insects and whatnot. This is really influencing the environment more than we, more than we think. Um, that's why I, that's why I like letting my stuff grow, and I just I, I don't I don't even like weeding. I I probably might plant on top of it, but I do not like weeding unless I'm uh look at this. I don't even drink coke and there's coke cans over here. But um I'll pull weeds from the grow bags, but other than that I won't pull them from the natural soil. Um because I, I I want everything to flower if it can flower. I don't wanna be the one that's disturbing all of that. But that's how Rumado so far. Looking uh real good compared to Madura. But Madura has a lot of flowers going on. Madura, like I said in the previous video, it's probably just a slow, uh, or I mean, uh, uh, it probably just has smaller leaves compared to Harumaru. So, Lila now looking good. I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Also excited about Desert King. That's my update for y'all. I just wanted to bring that quick update. I have a bunch of Desert King plants. Not all of them are flowering just yet. But they're, they're getting ready to start flowering. So that's that, y'all. Oh, here's a, 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 a better looking um, Madura. You can see the leaf size, the, the leaf difference. It's not, um, it's about about uh six tenths the size a little bit over half the size of a uh, harumaru melon leaf so it might make a smaller melon also so harumaru might just make big melons in general compared to what uh, maru rai and kajari make so that's that y'all i got a plant in he doing you pretty soon it's already starting to flower in these six inch containers now these are literal six inch containers they're inside of a, a water catch tree and i got a uh, make a new grow bag to plant those in but other than that uh not much else to talk about see y'all in the next one